Yak Pack, here is the case full of the most expensive reels inside the store. Hey, how many likes for you to give that away on my channel? Ooh, 8,750. <laughs> yes, yes! <laughs> hey yo folks, what's going on? Welcome to the Fishing Norm YouTube channel. Comment dates popping up down below, so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and the bell. Leave a comment down below on this video for your chance to be in the next video's comment of the day. Guys, you are absolutely going crazy on the subscribe button. We've been getting like a thousand subscribers a day, and now we're gonna hit 200,000 in no time, and then a quarter million. So guys, keep on hitting that subscribe button for me, please. But today, we got my boy Fishing with Yak Pack here with me, and what I decided to do, we've been doing some pretty crazy stuff here on the channel recently. I really do like to do videos that a lot of other fishing YouTubers don't do, and I'm always trying to come up with ideas. So we were here today at Dick's Sporting Goods, and what I decided we were gonna do is go inside and buy the most expensive fishing reel that they have inside, <laughs> and go like crazy on them and catch fish guys i just wanted to say i seriously wouldn't be able to do this without you guys like subscribing liking commenting it's just been insane recently so i'm able to do these more crazy videos and the more you guys support the crazier and crazier normal get i promise you guys that you know, he doesn't um, tell me he doesn't tell me what we're doing yeah. until like he hits go on the camera so we're probably gonna go inside and look around and see if there isn't anything crazy to do because i always like bringing new and different videos to you guys that people haven't done before on youtube so that's why we were originally here but i was like why not go ahead and buy the most expensive reel and maybe get Give it away to you guys not gonna lie i kind of want to keep it for myself but if you guys went just like absolutely crazy and hit 7,000 likes on this video i will give it away to you guys but i i'm pretty sure that won't happen so i think i'll be good i'll be able to keep it we're just gonna go ahead and run inside and try to find the most expensive reel i'm with Dick's sporting goods i'm and with then it <laughs> just so with it. just buy it let's and go it. fishing with it let's go so guys we are here in the fishing section and before we go look at the reels i wanted to stop and just look for some crazy lures because i've been wanting to do a crazy lure fishing challenge for you guys here on the channel and uh, so I'm just like kind of scouting it out. You guys get to see a little bit of the behind the scenes of me thinking of videos to film. And I saw this thing I want to show you guys. Look at this squid, dude. I 110% could catch a bass on that. It's like a square bill in the front, but then like a tube in the back. You know what I'm saying? I seriously think we might get this for a different video, but I'm just on the crazy lure hunt right now. We're gonna go to the fishing reel section now. All that crazy stuff is for another video. We are here for fishing reels. Stay focused, Norm. You got this. That's gotta be the most expensive Zebco ever made. $99? I didn't even know they got that expensive. <laughs> All right, guys, so we have found the bait cast reels, which tend to be more expensive than spinning, unless you're getting into like really expensive, like saltwater spinning stuff. So, right off the bat, we have a $199 lose bait caster, which isn't more expensive than one of the bait casters over there, but still, I mean, pretty high up there, and also just an awesome reel. I don't have one of these in my collection yet, so maybe we'll buy this one. Maybe, I don't know, unless we find something more expensive. Another lose BB1 speed spool, and these are actually perfect for crankbaits because they have such a wide spool capacity so you can make those really long casts. That's what a lot of people use for their crankbaits, square bills, and like spinner baits and stuff too sometimes. Really cool reel. Also waiting on that one to come in the mail, but I have a couple of those on the way. Another bait caster. We're like in the lose section right now. $129 and this is an inshore bait caster. So saltwater bait caster, but you could also use it for bass fishing as well, but not expensive. Next, $99. Also another lose reel and that is not gonna be expensive enough. Yak Pack, here is the case full of the most expensive reels inside the store. So the employee here opened up the case for us so we can take a closer look at these super expensive reels in here, guys. So the most expensive reel in here, definitely, oh, I don't wanna break it. <laughs> it's a $700 Shimano reel right here. This thing is absolutely massive, not a freshwater reel whatsoever. This is definitely meant for salt water, but I mean, just cool to see it. It even has one of those things on there. If you steal it, the cops are coming after you, but. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna put this back before I break it, guys. So guys, here is all of the expensive bait caster reels in here. And obviously you can see all the prices as we go down. And then also again on this side over here, these are all salt water spinning combos back here. So for $300, there is a Revo rocket. I actually have one of these from like years ago, guys. And if anybody wants my reel, just go ahead and comment down below and maybe I'll send it to one of you guys because I'm not going to be using it anymore. Guys, right here, a $210 reel. Look at the power handle on that. That's definitely made for like big swim baits, a rig stuff like that. But guys, this comes with line two. I mean, super cool reel right here. Going up, we got a Shimano Cruise for $279, another really expensive reel. Super lightweight too. So enough messing around guys, the most expensive reel 
Inside of here is the Loose Pro TI Speed Spool for $349. And if you guys didn't know already, I'm waiting for this to come in the mail because they are all back ordered. It's super hard to find these things. So we have one here and what I think we're gonna do is we're gonna buy this $349 reel. And actually I have a Pro TI rod in the car and it'll be a perfect matchup. And we're gonna try to go catch some big bass on this thing. You're getting the Pro TI. I tell you what, let's make a deal. You wanna make a deal right here? If I beat you in a game of rock, paper, scissors, right here, right now, one shot, you have to buy me the second most expensive reel here in Dick's, which is the uh, the Lose Custom Line. 279 bucks. Are you oh with it? Oh my gosh, I'm with it. But what happens if you lose? Then are you buying it? I'm gonna have to buy it, I guess. That's only fair, right? That's only that's only fair. Yeah, I if mean, I buy both it? of us need expensive reels to fish with for today's video. Yeah. So yeah, and well, why not? It makes sense yeah. that we get a second one. So you ready? A little Rochambeau. Oh my gosh, best one on one. That's like one shot right here. All right, here we go. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> and Yak Pack, here is your brand new reel that you have to buy because you lost rock, paper, scissors. $270, show them what this one looks like because they haven't yeah. seen this one yet. So guys, right here, this is the Lose Custom Light, the lightest reel that Lose makes. Guys, this thing feels like a feather in your hand. And uh, Yak Pack. I'm telling you, I've been wanting one of these ever since I first heard about them. I really thought you was going to be able to buy this for me today. <laughs> <laughs> I suck at rock, paper, scissors so oh, bad, dude. I'm so sorry. I'm so bro. bad. All right, guys, so we have me and Yak Pack's reels right here we're gonna go ahead and take them out of the box and i'm so excited i just want to spool them up right now here's the reel i'm gonna be using guys the pro ti oh my gosh i've fished with one of these a couple times before but never had one for myself and i actually have my pro ti rod right here that i've been using and absolutely love i think this is like a 300 dollar rod maybe i can't really remember and uh this is a 350 dollar reel so that's like a 700 dollar yeah. comp math 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 it's like 700 dollar comp yeah. the combination is complete look at that thing dude that looks so freaking cool oh my Ooh, goodness that thing mm. Woo! it do be hitting different dude, though it really is like it weighs nothing <laughs> it weighs nothing dude it's like air. Hey, how many likes for you to give that away on my channel? Ooh, 8,750. You know the deal, right? 50 yeah. pound braid, 20 pound leader. That's how we fish. Norm, Norm's weird. Norm fishes with like 17 pound fluorocarbon. Like, who does that? Dude, I fish with that? 14 pound for my movie. 14 days, pound? Are you not for scared to break off? Mm -mm. 15 and 14 Ooh. for chatterbaits and rattle traps. That's the way to go. 17 Ooh. for Texas rigs. I'm 14. telling you. I'm telling you, bro. 50 pound braid. They won't bite, they won't bite it where 20 I 20 pound leader. That's all you need. I promise you that. Golly. <laughs> no, it's crazy though. I do. I, yeah, I fished up there where Norm is at. And, and that's true. That's very true. Different parts of the country, 100%. You're not getting away with this everywhere. But you remember when we were in Alabama? I was trying to fish with this and I yeah. couldn't catch anything. <laughs> I was like, why am I not catching fish? And you were like, probably because you're using 50 pound braid. <laughs> that's probably why. But uh, if you're ever down here in this area, then yeah, this is. This is what Ooh. works. Dude, that honestly looks so clean though. I know, dude, I agree. Look at that combo. I was expecting that combo to be hitting though. Yo, that thing is actually mad clean, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she's smooth, yeah. And it's, oh God. It better so, be clean for that much. I know, right? What did that put me in the hole? Like $287 <laughs> after tax. Does that, I mean, technically. <laughs> nah, dude, you just made a sky them out of the air. Technically. I mean, they go over the boat. I mean, technically that counts. <laughs> well, we uh got oh, one in man. the... <laughs> <That> visual. <laughs> Is that on the middle? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Nice, yak five. Oh, oh my gosh. First, Two, well, second, eight. right? Second? Does the first one count? Yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm counting that first one. Hey, that's a pretty colored fish right there. Yeah. Nice. Dude, this rod's got to weigh like 12 pounds. Can one of you help me <laughs> with the, uh, the end of the rod there? Wait, that's a fish. Hold up. <gasps> Norm's got a fish. Oh, dude, it might be bigger. Or it might be grass. I don't know. That might be a better hey, grab one. Grab me the net just in case. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is a better one. Oh, quickly. I thought I had weeds on, dude. I don't know how big it is, but. Yo, careful with your line. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. Yes. Oh, yes, yes. I told you guys it's one or eights, dude. It's one or eights. What did I say? Yeah, do you have your GoPro on? Yeah, the whole time. Thank goodness, because I had to turn mine on like halfway through. Guys, we just caught a freaking giant fish. 
Oh my god, you hold it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Holy cow. Yak pack. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. That's every bit of eight. That's that's yeah. here is this absolute behemoth. <laughs> of a fish. We went ahead and took measurements on this thing uh, with two pieces of line because we have the scale, but it doesn't have batteries. I know you guys are probably really mad at me, but I think it's all day eight pounds. Once again, we're popping up the uh, the guest weight on the fish calculator online right now. But I mean, just an absolute beautiful fish, dark green, because you know, it's hanging out in this hydro out here, guys. This is a vegetation lake, but just an absolute massive <laughs> fish on one of the most expensive fishing reels, guys. $300 for that reel? I think it was worth it. I paid $300 <laughs> to catch an eight pounder. <laughs> I don't Definitely know about you guys. It. Holy cow. That is a trophy bass here in the state of Florida. And uh, I'm pretty sure everywhere else this is a trophy bass as well. So that's pretty cool. But we're gonna let him go. Are we ready to let him go? We I'm good, not, we all good? I don't wanna let him go, but we gotta <laughs> let him go to let him Jeez. grow bigger. And what was your PB yak pack? You were saying- Eight pounds on the dot. And, and was this, you think that's bigger or slightly, smaller? That's 100% slightly bigger than my PB. Yeah, we're gonna get you on one because they swim in here. It's just like we've been out here for like five hours guys Obviously the video doesn't show that you just got to be patient with it. You ready? We're gonna let him go it. Probably good eight and a half pounder right there. I don't think he's quite nine. Maybe he is but straight back down all the way down to the hydrilla like in it That's crazy. That's where they hang out dude hot summer. It's just a slow worm game dude, I'm pumped go, bro dude. fish let's bump go. bro. <laughs> Josh, can I get a Who y'all? Oh yeah! Jeez, all right guys. I'm pumped I, I got a retie. Where did my worm go? Get ready to hopefully catch another big and I might even I don't want to switch this reel up because it is a lucky reel But we have two other expensive reels too that I want to fish more with but that's awesome, dude That was dope. That's when awesome. you were like you were like that's a fish wait. No, that's just grass Wait, no, it's fighting that is a <laughs> yeah. fish and then I saw him wake. I was like, yeah, that's a of big Of course boy. my GoPro would be off like the first you get bit I might have. Jeez, of course my GoPro would be off like the first Like five seconds of fight, but you were on right? Yep, You're recording? Yep. Alright, so we'll have the full fight. I'm hoping. Yeah. <laughs> that was crazy, dude. dude no. That was my first fish out. We've been fishing for five hours. You guys have been out fishing me with smaller fish, uh, getting bites. I haven't got anything. And I'm throwing the same thing and I was getting a little frustrated. And then and boom, you just boom. Norm does norm things boom. and catches a freaking eight and a half pounder. <laughs> Normally I'm the one catching all the fish and then somebody else catches the eight pounder I want to catch. It was nice to have the rolls reverse for once here. Oh got him. Got him. Yes! Yes! Oh my gosh. We have been recording for almost an hour, guys, since that last fish. And we got him on the freaking beautiful Pro TI. And I do not care if he weighs three ounces because that was a hard earned fish right there. Just think about the fish you caught earlier used to be that big. Yeah. That's so crazy. Yeah, I mean, this will probably be a future 10 pounder. He has everything he needs to in here. And look at how beautiful these fish are there, guys. Look at the colors on them. 